Hey guys, welcome back. Well, it's time to do a combined tutorial today in Maya and Marvelous Designer, where we are going to create what is called an astronaut hose, okay? And if you don't know what that is, stick around and you'll find out, okay? Here we go. Okay guys, well, we're in uh, Maya 2018. Let's get started. Uh, I want to do something um, like a, an astronaut hose. So I'm gonna go to view, image plane, import image, and I'll show you what that looks like. Something like this. So basically a hose covered in fabric. Now I don't know if I want to do it exactly like this, but basically what I want is hose segments with cloth in between, okay? So let's say get rid of that. Um, let's start with a, um, a polygon pipe. Yeah, let's do that, okay? So I don't need most of it. I only need the outside to be exact. So what I'll do is I'm gonna right click on the face and I'm gonna click on shift double click and click and shift double click and delete and do that one more time there you go so that outside is fine I'm gonna take that hit E to rotate hold down J to snap it upright and let's uh, make it a little bit more fancy so I'm gonna go to edge double click and shift double click control E to extrude let's do 0 0.2 for thickness and then let's hit uh, G to repeat. Come on, G to repeat. No, it doesn't want to play ball. Let's do that again. We'll take these two. Control E, we'll hit R to scale that out. G to repeat again, and R to scale in again. Now we're not gonna see those insides, so don't worry about that. This looks okay. Yeah, it's fine actually. And then we're gonna go to object mode and let's go to mesh and smooth, which will give us something like this. Very simple, okay? We're gonna go to file, uh, export selection. Let's call this uh, hose tube, I don't know. Hose tube OBJ, and actually I'm going a little bit too quick here. I need two of those, so hit Control D to duplicate, W to move over. Let's do something like that. Select them both, mesh combine, edit and delete by type, history, modify freeze transformations, and modify center pivot. Okay, now we can go to export selection. And I want to export that as an OBJ. There we go. And I'll call this um, Hose Section. And I got something that looks similar, so I don't want to be confused here. Export. All right. So now let's go into Marvelous Designer. Here we go. All right. Here we are. We're going to go to File. We're going to go to Import OBJ. And I'm going to look for my Hose Section. I'm gonna reset this and then I'm going to and everything else I'm gonna leave alone, hit okay. I don't need this green guy, so I'm gonna go in here, click on the green guy and click on the blue guy so we get rid of all that stuff and close this. Okay, so this is our object. I'm gonna click on it, hit the gizmo, pull it up and pull it over. So we are roughly in the middle here, a little bit further. And it's time to put on some cloth, okay? So what I'm gonna do is take a rectangle. I'm going to roughly go from middle to middle. So something like this, that kind of works, yeah. And I'm gonna click on it here. I'm gonna use the gizmo to pull it up. Let's see what the clean side is. That's the outside. So I'm gonna flip it like this. And let's uh, use the gizmo to bring it down. All right, tilt it a bit more. There you go. All right, now uh, that's one. I need a copy of this. So I'm going to select it and hit Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Let's move that up here and click once. I want to move that all the way down and that needs to be flipped over. So right click and go to flip horizontally, uh, vertically, sorry. So now we've got the clean side there. 
And with these two in place, let's see if we can stitch them together. They look a bit short, but we'll see if it's enough, okay? So we're gonna go to our sewing machine, and I'm gonna go from here to here, and you got straight lines, nothing crossing, that's good, and from here to here, same deal. Now, let's do a quick test simulation and see what we've got. I'm gonna click on this guy, and looks like we got this in one shot, which is perfect. Now, it's a bit large as you can see here, so let's see if there's anything we can do to fix that. So uh, let's see what edge is what edge. We're gonna jump back, and whenever you do that, for some reason, this becomes funky, so let me fix that. Right, that's back in position. Now, what we basically wanna do is have kind of an elastic band going on on the edges here. Okay, so got one selected here, and uh, just take that symbol here, click on that edge. I'm gonna go down here to, uh, where did that go? Elastic, and we're gonna turn that on. Uh, strength, uh, we're gonna leave that default for now, okay? We'll do the same here, elastic, turn that on. Same here, turn that on, and same here, and turn that on, okay? Let's simulate again and see what we got. You can clearly see the effect of that elastic band, which is cool. It closes that gap, which is uh, nice, and it gives a little bit of an extra effect to it. You can use that little hand thing to kind of grab and pull in areas if you need. But I think it looks good. Now, the thing here is, if you want to use this to create that effect of a hose, I would create multiple sections, because once you get this back into Maya and start to repeat this, you will see that they all look identical, so I would definitely uh, create a few. But that said, it's worth it, because once you've done that, you have a very realistic looking uh, cloth, okay? So I'll show you how you get this back into Maya. Uh, what we're simply gonna do is we're gonna go and uh, select these guys, okay? We're gonna go to File and Export, and uh, let's see, we're gonna go to uh, Export as OBJ. Uh, you could have selected Selected, but in this case, just OBJ. And actually, let's see if that is uh, the best option. Yeah, we'll do it like that. Okay. So, uh, OBJ, and I'll call this um, Hose Cloth Section. All right? We're going to save that out on the desktop, and now we've got a couple of options. Uh, okay, so export as an OBJ. Um, do I want all the avatars? And in this case, these guys, the gray pieces are the avatars. I don't want that. Turn that off. Uh, let's see, um, what else do I want? I want this all to be default. That's okay, okay, okay. I don't need the textures or anything. So I'm just gonna hit okay, all right? All right, time to go back into Maya, here we go. We're gonna go to File, Import, and uh, Hose, Section, Cloth. That's the one it was, and this should be quite large, I guess. Yes, it is. So we're gonna select it, we're gonna go to um, Modify Center Pivot. We're gonna hit R, we're gonna scale that way, way, way down. I have to zoom in. Let's see if we're already in the neighborhood of our grid here. Okay, so I'm gonna hit W and I'm gonna move that over. Let's take this and hold down X and snap it. Let's take this and do the same. And then let's hit four and see how close we are as far as scale is concerned. Okay, it looks like there's still a height difference here, so I need to fix that. closer and better okay W again hit X again now we're getting somewhere all right so let's see what we got here uh, first I'm gonna put on some different fabric so uh, assign new material let's do a Lambert and then we can go in 
and hit R and scale this down a bit until we're happy with it. Okay, nothing is sticking through or shining or whatever. And there you have it. So what we can do now is select this part and we're going to go to uh, mesh and separate for a second. Take this, all of that, mesh and uh, combine and delete that. And then what we're going to do is take this, hit Control D to duplicate, hit W to move and move that in here until you have a good fit like this. Okay. And then from there, you can hit Shift D. I'll uh, hang on, I'll do that again. So take this, Control D, move that over. I'm doing it really quick and dirty right now, but you know what I mean. And then hit Shift D and combine that. Now, like I said, um, because you are using the identical pattern, they are 100% identical, it shows, okay? so. It's worth your while to go in and make a couple of these and have a slightly different fabric every time because it looks very realistic. Okay. Well, that's all there's to it, guys. So if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you don't want to miss out on future videos, please, please, please subscribe. Okay. Well, that said, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.